Hi, I'm looking to answer one very specific question. Students have just completed college in uh, end of May or first week of June, and you're looking to take CAT that year. So you have about six months window with you. You're going to start some form of job at some point of time. How sh what should a plan be? And so, very simple. Six months is a lot of time to crack this exam, to prepare and crack this exam. In. So you have enough time to start with. Fine. If you already have a starting date, then that defines your preparation very clearly. If you don't have a starting date, assume you're going to have it sometime, say two months, three months down the line. Use this gap aggressively to prepare. So the natural way of preparing would be to slowly build up and then increase your momentum a lot in the last three weeks when needed. But those of you who don't know when you're going to start work, invert the whole thing. And then imagine you're going to prepare for an exam you're taking two months from now, and then go berserk. So if, you, if your college ends on May 31st and your job earliest it can start is August 15th, then you have two and a half months of wonderful time window to go berserk preparing for this exam. Give eight to 10 hours, pick up some nice course online which gives you this freedom to front load your preparation. Prepare everything in this two and a half months and then fine tune based on mocks later on. Right? Those of you who are going to be working with jobs in hand, again, front load your preparation because uh, when you start off on, your, on a career, on a job, then the, the chances are the, you're going to bed into a job where it takes some time for the training process and before expectations out of you come into play, you're going to get a month, month and a half, use that window very aggressively. Of course, if you're employed, then there's every chance that you'll have a, a tight work week in the first two weeks of November or the first three weeks of November, which puts a lot of pressure on you then. And then you can't plan then. So front load your preparation. Do a lot when you get this free time. Don't, don't let that go. Don't let that slip by. It'll be a crime when you start your job and you start doing 70 hour work weeks and you look back and say, oh, I was jobless and watching stupid TV. I could have easily prepared this then. And so you should not miss that, miss that opportunity. Keep that clear. Now there's a follow up from this question. Therefore is job a bad thing? Should I not take a job? For the love of God, don't take that decision. If you have a job, grab it, go start working. If you don't have a job, look for a job. This whole idea of should I take a drop of a year or not work for 18 months, all not worth it. This is an uncertain exam. It's a difficult exam. I've taken it many times. I can tell you hand on heart, there's no guarantee that I'll get a good score if I take it this year. And so it's a tough exam. It's a competitive exam. Don't take chances. If you have access to a job, go join it. If you don't have, look for it. And very simple. Those of you who are going to get into jobs in June, July, lay the groundwork. Get some cousin married off in, on November 20th or 22nd. Make sure that everybody in your system knows that you're going to be off for two weeks very early. Don't say you're going to take CAT if you can't say that very clearly. But make sure that you have about 10 days before the exam where you get time to focus on preparation. Lay the groundwork very early, very well to plan for that. Make sure that your office can account for the fact that you're not going to be there from November 15 to November 26th. Plan that, plant the seeds and plan that very well. Because switching off for 10 days, again, is a, is a, is a big plus for this exam. So plan like that. Right? Once again, best wishes for Canada.